Hi, my name is Rob Stocklosa. I'm an application engineer with TPM out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Today we're going to discuss modifying or customizing the column properties from within SolidWorks Electrical. We get this request from time to time that, Rob, I'd like not just only a mark or not just only my manufacturer, but I'd like some additional information in my column. So today I'm going to go ahead and just pull up an existing report as it is out of the box, if you will. We'll expand these out. So over at the top of our screen, appropriate to each report, we have a properties dialog that we can access. And we have the report generator. Let's go ahead and pop up this first one just so you can see what you get. For those of you that haven't seen it, but we'll see that by default, uh, the report generation under reference column at this point just simply calls out the reference number. Um, and manufacturer is listed over on the far right. Uh, that may be what you're looking for. That certainly is what many of our clients need. However, some of you like to get fancy and you have requests like Rob not only would I like the reference number listed here but can I go ahead and maybe put in the manufacturer as well in that same column and the answer is yes so we're going to go back to that properties dialog and we can see here of the myriad of options we have we're just going to stick in the columns uh, tab and we'll access this particular column and edit the properties for that column I'm just going to go ahead and locate the variable I want to add to it, double click it, and you'll see that instantly it will now create a concatenated column, if you will, of reference and manufacturer all together in one column. If we pull this out, you'll see there's the manufacturer information now associated as a suffix to the reference number. And if I needed to further go into this, which is the next common question we, we run into, is, okay, now take that data and sort it based on whatever requirements uh, you could possibly come up with. But this would be where we do sorting. And, and we'll talk about sorting in another three-minute Thursday. So uh, if we pull up the final outcome here, you'll see that the bill of materials and document as it's going to be sent to our clients, our customers, or internally, as the reference and manufacturer in one column. Hope you found this helpful. I'm Rob Stocklosa with TPM. Have a great day.